Okay, we're gonna start up that base. And start to close up the shank. Next, I'm going to put just a little tag back here. When I put the stinger on, I'm not going to run it back the whole way here, so I'm just going to lay down some dubbing first, cover that up. Should be good. Then we'll move up and I'm going to close the front part of the shank up. Put the stinger hook on. I'm using fire line. You can use the intruder wire out now. This is a old school. I'm going to be tying in back here, so make sure you leave enough room so that you can change out your stinger hook. And go ahead and lock that down. Now to come back up, I'm just going to double this over sure so that it doesn't slip out and I like to flatten that out just a little bit where I pulled that over and we're going to apply some more cement then next I'm going to put a little ball of dubbing here give me some body to this for the next step. Then the next thing I'm going to do is add some more of the dubbing, but I'm not going to create a dubbing loop here. I'm just going to cheat this on here. I'm just going to pull out a generous portion here. I'm going to split it halfway where I'm going to tie it down at. Just let that encompass the hook and come over with two soft loops. Pull down tight. Then pull that back. We should be covered pretty decent. Want any loose? And we're gonna put the eyes on. Secure good. A little cement. Next, run some black fin raccoon. You can use Arctic Fox here. I like using them both. Just about back to where the eye of the stinger hook is for the first wing. Distribute it a little bit. Then the next step I do is I'm going to be using the shaggy dub. I'm going to take a fly candle. This is the easiest way I've found to use this in this manner. Just get a little bunch, clip it. 
shake off the extra. I'm going to come in here and just grab it. Half of it. Take the candle off. Fold it around the thread and come in, lock it into the side, secure it. Put three bunches on, one on each side, one on the bottom. I have some already ready, so speed things up a little. Just fold it around the thread, direct it down in, pull tight, lock it in. Should be enough. Put it around the thread, direct it down in, pull tight. Make sure it's locked in good. cement down in there. A little more purple dubbing. Now when I go to do this, I don't figure eight it. I come up and I come under and I, I keep the dubbing on the bottom half. Tighten that dubbing up a little. So I don't bulk the top up where I'm going to put my wing, my top wing here. It's going to lay down a little better for me. Next is the purple fin. We'll pull out some of the guard hairs. Not all. A little longer than the first wing we put on. Next I'm going to put four strands of purple crystal flash. I'm just going to come up and fold it around the bottom side. Come in, lock it in place. That's going to place that more to the side than on top. Next, I'm going to put some shimmer fringe. A little, a little longer than the pin raccoon. And I want to come in here with my nail and just distribute that a little bit, flare it out. Like so. From the excess. And next, some purple floral fiber. Tie it on, same way. I'm going to Distribute it a little bit with my nail, flare it out just a touch.
and last some purple grizzly top it off man I get my length and just measure it at the eye instead of stripping I trim it so that there's some stubble there it doesn't slip out side of the top here. Same thing, I'll, I'll measure it and just press that scissors right there at the eye, trim it. finish and there you have it the Medusa a little bit of finish on the head and you're good to go thanks for watching